Okay, let's go and record. Let me share my screen with you. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Just like this. Okay, there we go. Can I hide this? So stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we will be just taking it easy, starting first with the US 500. Um, the previous week we actually did take some trades on US 500 every week we have to, but we came from it like literally being all the way testing somewhere. It was here at this level. We tested here, then went up with it, then it started playing with us like this. It started playing with us like this for a few hours because we took this trade, I think, on a Thursday, but it still went up and down, up and down. Then eventually, when we locked in, when we pushed our profits, um, our stop loss to somewhere here above, that's when price actually just took us out and then it shot back all the way to the upside. But now, even if like, because with my understanding, I was like, yo, I could have done a re-entry. But even if I done a re-entry, which I wanted to do one somewhere around here because it was support, I was going to still experience a stop loss because my stop loss was going to be somewhere here. I wasn't going to have a big stop loss. My stop loss was either going to be here or maybe here. This is very big. I wouldn't put this here. And I'm not sure what would happen for me to put it here. Maybe, yeah, looking at the risk reward, it would have made sense. You know, but um, I was more likely going to have it here because this is a valid higher low for me. So higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. So this means that I can put my stop loss. It shouldn't close below here. And on which it was going to take us out with, um, what is it, with just a week and then go within our direction. Even though we would have like caught some smaller moves. Because I understand that on the smaller time frame, you can catch those movements. But when the market is moving fast, like how it did, um, you know, that time, you don't see these moves happening. Like you don't see... On the five minutes, you can't really even get an entry anymore. Like the market just shoots to its direction. You understand? So even if it goes, let's say we take a three day, because I actually wanted to share this as a signal in the morning, but I was like, you know what, Mondays, you know, I'm not comfortable and everything. But even if let's say we take a three day and then our take profit is something more like this. Yes, as much as this can make sense, but what can happen is that price can just easily want to come back to a test this. You understand? So if you haven't got the heart or the knowledge that this is gonna happen. Obviously, when it hits your stop loss, you're going to be thinking that your trade is not right, you know, you it's wrong, um, you are taking losses, even though it's not even there. It's just the fact that, you know, the price had to test. Like, your strategy is accurate, but price had to also do what it has to do, which is to test. Maybe you can adjust your stop loss, or maybe you can re-enter, on which that's what I love. I love re-entering. But, um, and then, you know, this can as well happen. That's what I'm actually looking for now in terms of, how i would go about my entry style because i believe that with the four hour chart i believe like you know this may be impulsed massively here and you know with this candlestick here i just believe that like you know price would have came at least test around here because i thought this would also be seen as um you know teaser tops that we can expect like an evening evening star but if this test then gives us a support here it will be much 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 more better because what it does is that we'll be able to secure here and by the time we get here, already we are locking in profits and we just like going riding it and like trying to scale in compared to trying to buy now. And I sense some people would be impatient and would want to like, you know, um, enter right now, right now, right now. As much as you can still do that, it's it's still um, a bit more unsafe because of, let me just come here and show you guys this real quick. The reason I say it's still unsafe is because of the fact that when it does go down, remember this on the one hour time frame, so you can't really have a stop loss that's gonna be like this big. Do you understand? I can never stop because look at that risk compared to reward. I'm risking one, I'm gaining two for all of this. I don't want that. I'd rather have a stop loss that's like something more like this. Because why? I'm risking one and I'm gaining 12. So even if that one doesn't go in my direction, once I get just one position that's gonna move in this direction, just like this, that means that all of the losses that I took, 10 losses or five losses that I took, um, are being brought back and I'm actually um, put going in profits for long. So it's just more about increasing the edge of you winning, even though whether maybe your win rate is gonna be, because win rate, as much as you can say that you are 70%, 80%, it's not always, it changes. Now it can be 66% during this time because of market conditions, can um, be influenced by you know news and all of that. So you can't really be specific in terms of this is what my win rate is. But when it does happen to just go back and forth, or you do happen to experience a losing streak, because losing streaks do happen in the market, it's very impossible of you not to experience a losing streak. Okay, so let's now take a look at, let me put this, what I do is that I'll put a blue tick on it to show that, okay, no, this is really moving how I would want it to move. So what that blue flag is, is just to indicate that I'm going to be taking a trade on this soon. <laughs> 
that's just what I would do. So let me come back down here to the four hour because I think we're not trying to look at what's going to happen for the week. I'm not even for the week. Yes, we are going to be looking at that, but not that. Like we're trying to just look at how we are going to enter. What will be um the influence of us entering, you know? So just back come here. I can see our previous area, which is right here on the four hour. You know, price already just broke out here. Yeah. So you see that even when you buy here, yeah, as much as it's impulsive, but when you buy at areas such as this, look at all of that. This is just like, you know, huge movements to the upside. As much as they still take profit, which our take profit can be here, yeah, maybe here yeah, our first take profit, our next take profit here, yeah, and all the way up there. But with this, with just this, guys, it doesn't even, like, it's it's it's, it's not too fair in terms of where you put your stop loss because you can enter here, but price will go down, go down to retest here, and you'll be thinking that, oh, maybe the market is not going with me you know it's doing something opposite but it's not even that it's just the fact that the market didn't want to move um at that time it still wanted to test support because something has to support it before it goes upwards so what this so the, the what can happen is that we can either see price maybe come back down here to retest the yeah, third touch you can see first touch second touch third touch and then go all the way upwards because as well remember with markets when you learn patterns when you learn all these things you come across such um patterns whereby it says prices to impulse upwards prices to impulse upwards and then prices to correct and then obviously this is a flex it all break to the upside now but with that being said that means that for now you know you can get that short term sellers like you know short term sellers would be something more like if you want to just be actively in the markets something more like this and this looking at the take profit of maybe this but this is a more riskier because why we are trading again we are trading a retracement we're not trading um the the where the market is actually the market is going upwards in terms of the buyers how we saw it and stuff so if we take a sell now we are just basically trying to make a quick buck you understand it's not wrong it's okay but it's it's still that you know it's still there and how we can take it i feel like this can be our our first trade because it's the one that actually is looking to make sense but how we can take it would just be if this happens to close this or let me see this five minute candlestick happens to close um below yeah and once it does happen to close below yeah i'm gonna have this yeah and it's gonna act as you know previous resistant right here but now it's support so once this breaks below this line that i have in this green line then i'm more likely to just place a sell and yeah stop loss right here and take profit right here let me look at the risk compared to what if it's worth it um 2.7 so it's fair for a short term trade which can take a few minutes to hit take profit okay let's take a look at gj Okay, GJ. So I'm looking at GBP JPY right here. Yeah, let me just clean this up. Perfect. I remember the previous time when you looked at it, it impulsed massively. And now I can see, you know, here it's almost like someone would easily just say left shoulder, head, and maybe a right shoulder somewhere around here. Yeah. Maybe a right shoulder and prices are already broken out, which also makes perfect sense, even though it's not the cleanest head and shoulders. But with me, how I'd see this is just literally um, price, price action. Price went, started moving down, it impulsed, it broke below here. Yeah, I remember when we were still here, I was like, guys, it's either price is going to come down here, yeah, go all the way down to here, yeah, take profit, or we're going to see price breaking and going above here, yeah, um, going to create new highs and stuff because of this support area. And this was a bit more confusing because you can see on the 4 hour, it shot down on the 4 hour, and it came back the next candlestick, which shot up, which means that if you look at this, this was like price open, price actually cancelled itself. Price was, it went this low and then it went back up into um, a level that it was more comfortable with. And from there, it picked up and started shooting upwards. Even though it gave some false signals here, which you can see on the 4 hour, but we never use 4 hours to enter. That's why you should know what numbers, what, 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 what do you look at to enter? Because if you see a, let's say a hammer on a 4 hour, but hammer you use it to enter instead of to to to, to decide on um direction but on the four hour you are looking for direction do you see that you're already breaking your rules because you are now looking at a four hour hammer and you're deciding on you know what's the outcome of you know let's say you trading or executing but now even though you are being influenced by a four hour hammer you know that your trading plan or your rules are saying that you should be looking at the daily ten um candlesticks i mean or at the, at the one hour or at the 15 minutes so you need to stick with that so yeah, it's very nice and simple. You can see impulse. What's going on here is what happened here because we see this impulse. It's much more bigger though. It's, see this impulse, this correction. 
to import another deeper collection another import and say so hopefully i can see price here it's like it's coming back to retest here so we can go a bit more upwards so this is also a beautiful opportunity that we are going to be taking advantage of can we just do this because this is where our entry is going to be but it's much better to buy on support compared to just now feeling like this is going to leave us and wanting to buy now because even though the 90 percent is here our first 90 percent is here we need to give the market enough room to give us you know that ability to make the most out of that take profit our first take profit we should be able to make the most the other take profits will just be bonuses and benefits but the first take profit should already be giving us more than two three percent you understand so let me go on the 15 minute okay 15 minute right here so we believe that price is going to be coming down at least somewhere around this level here because i can see this is our previous resistance you can see here let me use this previous resistance here resistance resist 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 so even here when price was still testing this area as support we could have easily caught a beautiful entry here even the london session at nine but yeah we could have caught a beautiful session but it's okay you know the london um, gpg by still moves during new york session you know it still it still moves insane and even now it's still during london session so it's not like it's not gonna be moving or anything but remember when it's mondays because if you do like one thing that i like about mondays that it, the way it was told me is if you take trades now and you just want to be in the markets monday you should be looking at taking me on like let's say now i see an opportunity on all these setups that i can execute today but i'm only going to be executing maybe one or two trades do you know why because i don't want um already to it's either it's either i'm gonna boost my ego if i make profits like many profits quick or it's either i'm gonna um what is it i'm gonna i'm gonna um feel like you know i started the week bad you know one two three so it's very important of you to start the week in your rules not start the week with profits or loss no start the week following your rules if you start the week good following your rules that means that the next day now you started you are now safe you're in the good man you're in the, all you do is just like literally um play play like just you know do continue doing those rules throughout the whole week because if you start now and you make a lot of money now obviously you want to close the week with more money like if you made let's say 10k today you want to close the week with you don't want to close the week with less than the money that you made on the first day of the week yes and so what are you going to do you might either revenge trade you might use the bigger lot size you must do this and then now you're going to be losing money because now you have a lot of ego but if you lose if you start the week losing a lot then you're going to have that ment mentality of oh no it's a bad week you know i'm already starting with losses one two three and then you are going to experience losses for you because why you told yourself that you're experiencing losses it has nothing to do with it's like you told yourself so you are going to get what you, what you did to yourself so i see here is a young area you see that's why i say that opportunity you can get opportunities like literally anywhere because here if i'm if i want to get it on the five minute it's just me doing that and then me just waiting for candlestick confirmation and if it does confirm it will just be me taking that buy um just giving you a mere example either putting it below here 16 pips it's fair let me see this this is also fair but maybe have it just since i'll be just day trading it if i'm day if i'm day trading it that means that i'm looking at taking profits like this which will be more like a three percent um three percent three percent but regardless of that when you look at the 60 minute no uh, it's 15 when you look at the 60 minute 60 minutes showing us that as much as that can happen you know price can still as well just come back down yes still a monday price prices do not normally commit massively on mondays you understand they do not they do not commit so yeah that's something that we need to be looking at okay and uh, boom right here okay so i will just observe i'll just be looking at candlestick closes but one thing that i'll do is that five minutes is when i'm trying to be aggressive like when i want that like when you see me in total five minutes just know that that trade is either gonna hit take profit within the next two hours or the trade is gonna hit stop loss within the next five minutes <laughs> you understand like that's how five minutes is five minutes is meant for taking the loss as quick as possible if you are taking a loss but taking profit also as quick but you know because five minutes like look at this this is only a 16 minute i mean 16 pip stop loss so if price is just like 16 people against us then it's stop loss you understand but at the same time this 50 pips can give us over three percent of our account so we'll be observing it so let me just look at this um last one us 100 right here 
Okay. Just move this area. Let's see, Reja, we've got an area Reja. So obviously we just want 100, let me see on the four hour, what it is that we did see. Okay, so US 100 for now, it's just um fair. It's even um, perfect, like in terms of first, first, um, what's it, first resistance, second resistance, and now followed here by the third resistance. I feel like US 100 could be a perfect um, selling, um, trade like if you are looking into selling you can either sell us 100 but if you're looking into maybe buying you can either buy you know um what is it uh, is it us 500 even though they normally move like they move the uh, I, I would be naive if i said they did not move like they move like but find out that on us 100 the sell is more clearer compared to on us 500 but find out that on us 500 a buy is more clearer compared to on you know us 100 so it's all it all depends on which one makes perfect sense for you like for me i know us that is are more good at selling at buying us that is compared to selling them you understand so even when i'm selling them as much as i would sell seeing all the things that make sense to me you know they tick the box but i'm more confident when i sell and confident i don't mean like over trading and stuff but Confident meaning that I can re-enter. You understand? I can do that. You know, but when I buy, but when I sell, you know, I might because I know that I might buy. I mean, I might sell and then price just shoots up, and I'll be like, but you know, I was looking at that. You know, this was the support. Why didn't I see it this way? I was seeing it that. I was seeing it that way. So now it plays around my mind in terms of not. I need to know what it is that I buy, what it is that I sell, what do I buy, it's more cheaper, what do I sell it, it's more expensive. Okay, so how do I play around that? Then I come up with it. But um, we'll meet up in the in the in the private um chat room and yeah, we'll just meet up in there. And thanks thank you guys for joining the session. Um make sure that you guys continue with the engagement, you know, asking questions and make sure that you guys are growing as you know traders. And let us now work on managing this beautiful trade of ours because it makes perfect sense of us to take our first trade on this. Like, look at this, guys. Price broke below. Broke below. Price couldn't break above. Price couldn't break above. So the only time you see me say this two stop loss very quick is if price goes and closes somewhere here or it just shoots up insanely. That's why I'll be like, no, guys, it's not supposed to be. This two losses peak. You understand? But yeah, I'll see you guys. Let me just move because so this trade doesn't leave me. But yeah. Thanks a lot for pulling through.